My name's Aaron, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I am viewing Velvet Rose and Oud Cologne Intense. Has a map full by John Malone, London. 50 ml is 102, 100 ml is 145. And if you love it, tasting notes are damask rose, clove, oud, fantastic. Do we have our bottles of John Malone, velvet oud and rose? Are we engaged with our high self? Let's get testing. So there was a Channel 4 radio where they interviewed her. If you haven't listened to it, go and listen to it. It's very, very good. I liked it very much. And she said in the beginning, I think she started in a home like me. And she said that she was, you know, she wanted all the bows to be on and she got a big order. I could relate to a lot of what she was saying in there. And she said she wanted little bows on. And I'm really pleased that they lauder, kept the bows. The ones I've tested in the past, I think I've tested one, oh, it just didn't last on me. Kind of, it's expensive. We'll see what we'll see. I don't like the little, I'm going to talk about packaging, which I never do. I don't like this, the paper. I would have preferred it to be inlaid, to be real honest with you. It kind of looks a bit messy, looks a bit home. And I think that's my criticism with it. So the Inky List, which is the International Cosmetics and Mankler Culture, is on the bottom. I was a bit shocked if it didn't have anything with the Zestay Lauder. I think this is very nice. I kind of like it. I like I like sweeter fragrances. So we tested this actually and performance isn't great to be honest with you but i love the smell of it it's very nice this is a western interpretation of an oud fragrance and oud can be quite difficult to wear it has to be handled correctly as a raw material it smells very western which is fine because it means it's wearable means people are going to pick up on it isu super heady own clean white musk through the core and to help give elevation it smells jammy I like sort of that jammy sort of note and that is the fruit molecules which are vibrating. It's drying down quite flat. This is the problem I have and the problem with Jo Malone's work. I used to have a friend who loved it, who loved the work and it was insane on his skin. But on my skin it doesn't really work. Ethel Molto whipping through the base. There is so many different ways to make a top note with aroma chemicals and you know either alcohol, linen elastate, linenol, ethyl linenol, citronella, geraniol, vanillin molecules that can give you one effect. Uh, linen elastate, linenol, citronella with geranium can give you another effect. The more aroma chemicals you use within a formulation, generally speaking, the more high street commercial it sort of smells and that's what's happening within this formulation which is absolutely fine because i think at the end of the day fragrance needs to be worn interestingly somebody asked me if i would start doing fragrances like i used to which was more niche which was more interesting and i don't know i've spoken about this that i may do in the future something art led the problems with art led fragrances only a few amount of people like them because they want to smell that different the majority of people just want to smell good want to smell clean sweet fresh and that's what's happening within this and within high street formulations you only really get one go people have to spray it on a strip generally which i think is a bit insane and then they like it from that and they buy it from that a lot of wood raw materials to help smooth this formulation this is very very smooth and this is utilizing the softer end of the wood spectrum sandal or bangalore with other woods which are harsher sharper Phallus Lux Lone. And this is a perfumer who's who's combining the both to give the sharpness of wood with the smoothness. So you're getting the smooth and you're getting the sharp wood as well combined. It's giving you this finish. It's very nice. On to my final thoughts. I mean, it's been expertly created. I think it's very nice. It smells like what we've come to associate with oud, rose, and vanilla. They're very nice to work with, actually. I like working with oud and rose. Drying so flat, and that's the problem for this size being over 100. And it says cologne intense. I don't really understand what cologne intense means. So I'm going to go through my final thoughts, and I'll go through my thought processes of what I do like about it is the fruit notes, the vanillin, the wood roma chemicals against patchouli. What I don't like about it is that it's not vibrating off my skin, that it hasn't got an edge to it, that it's kind of just nice, soft and fluffy. But I think that's their demographic, so it kind of fits with their demographic. The bottle has got all the information on. If it didn't, I'd be gobsmacked. I think the perfumer fit it to a brief. 
I think this does smell velvet, does smell rose, does smell of oud. But it's kind of a little bit unimaginative, if I'm honest with you. These big houses can afford to do something different, and I'd love to have. I think either if it was a little bit of a twist in it, or it was vibrating off my skin, I would love it, because I do love this sort of combination. I'm going to get an 8 out of 10. Nothing wrong with it at all. I think it's fitting the brief. I think it's uh, super fantastical, but drying flat on me, and I kind of love it a bit more oomphed up into that and that can be done so love that review thumbs up and subscribe for fascinating interesting content lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views hope you stay safe and well see you soon